Your intuition is one of the most powerful things that you have, but so many of us have lost sense with how to connect to this part of ourselves and actually utilize it. Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Jills and I talk about all things feminine energy, self-improvement, and wellness for women. So if that's something you're into, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. So let's talk about intuition. Everybody on this planet has an intuition and the ability to access it. But one of the cool things about being a woman, at least in my opinion, is that we are much more naturally gifted in this area. And as a feminine woman, connecting to our intuition and hearing it and trusting it can be one of our superpowers if we decide to embrace it. But the problem is, is that so many of us have tuned this voice out when we're younger because we're taught that we need to analyze things carefully and make decisions with purely logic and practicality. And there's absolutely a time and a place for that for sure. But that doesn't mean that you should just throw your intuition out the window. Your intuition can be one of the best pieces of guidance that you have. Because we live in such a masculine driven world, our intuition is just not something that we've been brought up to cherish and lean into. And in fact, we've kind of done the opposite. We've become so detached from this inner knowing that by the time we're in our 20s or beyond and we wanna to connect to this part of ourselves again, it can be a little bit difficult. So in this video, I kinda of wanted to give you a no BS guide to connecting to your intuition, basically sharing the tips and advice and the things that I've learned that have been really helpful for me with the hopes that they will be helpful for you too. So if you're struggling to connect with your intuition, the first thing that I think you should do is ask yourself, are you grounded and present? Are you getting out into nature? Are you connecting with the earth and putting your feet in the grass or the sand or the dirt? When's the last time you had a deep soul-filled conversation with a friend? When's the last time you went a day without really looking at your phone? Are you feeding yourself clean, whole foods that have either grown on this earth or lived on this earth? Basically, are you taking intentional action to feel grounded and rooted into the present and into the earth? Because I think this is one of the easiest and best places to start. Your intuition is able to come through more clearly and easily when you are calm, present, grounded, and centered. And if you aren't putting the time and attention into helping yourself feel this way, if you're not getting out into nature, if you're not taking time to slow down, or whatever it is that works for you and makes you feel centered, Maybe it's a regular yoga practice or meditation, but if you aren't taking the time to make these things a part of your life, then it's gonna be a lot harder to hear that voice of yours. Basically what intuition does is it picks up the energy around us or the energy of a certain situation and it communicates that energy back to us. So if you're kind of feeling all over the place, ungrounded and just out of balance, then it's gonna be really hard to feel that intuitive energy that's flowing to you. So in general, this is a really important thing to be practicing all the time and making it a regular occurrence in your lifestyle. But if there's something that you want more like immediate clarity on and you're stressing over something, one of the best things that you can do is instead of dwelling on it, go for a long walk. Not just like a 10 minute walk, but like a real long walk. And while you're on that walk, try not to think about it at all. Just be present in that moment, be present with your walk, look out at nature, whatever it is, just have nice, good, present, happy feelings. And nine out of 10 times by the time that you come back home, your answer will already be there. You just have to take a second to get grounded and reconnect it again. Now, the next thing that I think is important when it comes to connecting to your intuition is expressing and releasing emotions. Because here's the thing, everybody has emotions and feelings that need to be honored, felt, and released. And if we don't do this, then they just get stuck and stay stagnant in the body. And here's why this is relevant. Our emotions, our feelings, they can be very powerfully charged and can take up a lot of space, so to say. So if you don't let these feelings go, if you don't release them and feel them, then it can get a little bit too messy up in here and up in here. We need to create the space for our intuition to flow through. Emotions can be very much in your face. They're much easier to feel and notice, and it's kind of hard to ignore them, but your intuition is much more subtle. And if your mind and your body is just overloaded with repressed emotions, if you're not feeling your feelings and letting them out and releasing them, then 
you don't have the space and the capacity to really feel and pick up on the subtleties of your intuition. It's harder, not impossible, but definitely harder to hear that intuitive voice when you are very emotionally charged. And a lot of times your emotions can be mistaken for your intuition. So many times after I have felt what I needed to feel, or maybe I had a good cry, that's when my intuition starts to come through more clearly because I've been able to release myself from the heaviness of my emotions and make more space for those intuitive hits to flow through. And the more you teach yourself to honor and listen to your emotions and your feelings and not just ignore them and stuff them back down, the more it teaches you to honor and listen to other parts of you, like your intuition. So one thing that's been really helpful when it comes to deciphering my intuition from other things like fears or insecurities is noting that intuition generally doesn't come with emotion, at least not for me, and I think that's pretty common. When we get an intuitive hit, even if it's really good or really bad, it doesn't tend to come with heavy positive emotions or heavy negative emotions. It just kind of is. That emotion might come a little bit later after you've registered it and thought about it, but initially that intuition tends to be more emotionally neutral. And so when it comes to things like fears and insecurities, these tend to be different. They tend to come with more of an instant, immediate, heavy emotional reaction. Like bam, you're overtaken with these feelings right away. It feels more chaotic. It feels like there's lots of noise, but your intuition a lot of times is much more simple. It's a subtle, simple thing that just kind of exists. So when you get a download that kind of comes to you, you're not sure if it's your intuition or your fear talking, Think about how that came to you. Was it emotionally charged? Did it feel messy and chaotic? Because if so, it's likely that what you're feeling and hearing is your fear. Another thing that I've noticed within myself is that my intuition is very, very quick. It tends to exist almost immediately. So basically if I were to ask myself a question, for example, my intuition will appear the moment I even think of the question. Like before I even ask it of myself, the answer will already be there. And this is kind of hard to explain, but for example, if I were to ask myself, is this good for me? The answer will already be there before I even say the word is. There's no thought that goes into it. It's just an immediate, still subtle, but an immediate subtle ping that I have before I even think about it. Now here's an actual physical exercise that you can do to connect to your intuition and get the answers you're looking for. This might be a little strange or a little out there for some people, it might not be for everyone, but I find it really helpful. And it's basically using muscle testing to connect with your intuition. So if you haven't heard of muscle testing, it's basically basically a technique that helps you tap into your own energy and get the clarity you're looking for by the way your muscles react. So let me show you how to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up straight and I like to put one hand on my heart and one on my belly just to kind of center myself and tap into my own body, but you don't have to do this. But basically stand up straight and in your head just think yes, 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 and really feel what that yes feels like. And what naturally happens most of the time is you start kind of leaning forward. You start leaning into it. You start leaning into that yes. And then when you say no, no, no over again and you start feeling that no, you naturally start leaning back. You start leaning away from it. So you can basically use this method to connect with yourself and ask yourself simple yes or no questions. So before you start, I kind of like to configure myself and get into, you know, the yes and no motions and make sure my body, you know, is on the same page. And then I'll ask myself a question and I'll see like, which way do I lean? Am I leaning forward? Am I leaning backward? And I'm not thinking about it. I'm just, what is my body doing naturally? Just see how your body reacts and maybe do it a few times if you feel like you want to. This simple practice might seem a little bit strange, but it can honestly be really helpful. So I encourage you to at least give it a try. Now, the last piece of advice I have around using your intuition is to to start small. This is definitely a muscle that you have to build up over time. So if this is something new to you, something you're a little unfamiliar with, then I would encourage you to maybe not make life altering decisions trying to use this method. As you do these practices more and more often and these things kind of just become a way of life for you, 
over time, over many months, really over many years, you will start to feel your intuition more and more. Don't pressure yourself to move too fast, too quick. Be accepting of yourself in the process and understand that this takes time. I've noticed that the more you try to force it and rush it and the more that you get upset with yourself that you're not able to hear your intuition, the much more difficult it becomes. Consistently make the effort of intentionally trying to connect with your intuition but don't stress about it. Now I'm by no means an expert, but these have all been things that have been really helpful for me and things that I have to remind myself of regularly when I feel out of touch with my own intuitive voice. If you're open to sharing, please leave a comment below with your biggest tips and advice for connecting to your intuition. What have been the biggest game changers for you? I would love to know, and I think it'd be really helpful for everyone else as well, considering everyone is unique, everyone is different, and it might be helpful to hear other people's opinions and point of view. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget forget to hit the like button below and help assist out. You might also be interested in these videos here if you haven't seen them already. Besides that, I will see you next week in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.